言うことは一つだけ。絶対負けねえ How's it going, everyone? This is Nothing Excess here. With the new player analysis, it's for a single player. Again, this time it's a gacha player because of the new banner, the、uh, debut transfer for the toughness type player pickup transfer.、Uh, it'll be Larson, the Midnight Sun Hunter, and because it's just one player, we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. The Larson, Mid Larson Midnight Sun Hunter, the new best raw dribbler in the game, in some ways, also the best unmodified one. When compared to other players without any sort of buff to their stats, either via combination or otherwise, Larson possesses a total of S99 dribble check of 54,020. He is the highest in the game with his 420 momentum dribble.、Uh, there's not much else though.、Uh, 12.9k dribble is married to 8.9k tackle,、uh, almost entirely based off of speed, and his sub 7k stats almost everywhere else severely limit his focus. 9.3k、uh, speed does mean that he'll outrun everyone, and his attacking midfielder position means he'll receive the ball and be able to pick defenders to run at and disable to try to enable other teammates afterwards.、Uh, since his skills are 40% cheaper, he'll get tired well after opposing defenders do.、Um, now, there's a lot of problems, obviously, with that kind of play pattern. It's very limited in scope.、Uh, you're just going to be getting the ball, and when you get the ball,、um, you're basically going to run at、uh, defenders over and over again,、uh, especially the ones that are. Not good at anything, at like things that are tackling related, and you're gonna try to like disable two at a time, right? You're gonna try to draw the defenders to you、uh, by running around a little bit, and then you're gonna engage the defenders, maybe also a midfielder.、Um, and then the goal there is dribble all three of them, run a little bit past,、uh, send the pass back to your now open forward, and then just go for the goal.、Um, but that kind of play pattern is kind of a little bit easier to predict, it's a little bit not. It's a little bit harder, maybe, to put together than other、uh, play patterns. You're going to have to work for it a little bit more than you would have to work for,、uh, for example, just giving the ball to work up here and just sending the ball forward.、Um, he's definitely not as easy of a player to use, but because his、uh, team skill is so nice, you may want to have him on the bench. Maybe he'll come in late、uh, if someone's tired, so you have a second way of attacking the defense. Pros 12.8k dribble, 8.9k tackle, 9.3k speed. His skills are all 40% cheaper、uh, when used because of uh, skill, uh, the stamina saving、uh, passive being 40%. He has a great red Euro team skill, particularly if you're trying to carry non Europe forwards and goalkeepers because he has the、uh, forwards and goalkeepers、uh, plus 13,、uh, red Europe、uh, plus 13. For cons, he can't do much else. He dies to white passes. His play pattern is predictable. All it takes is a skill block, and the man is dead.、Uh, because if the skill block is on his, good,、uh, on his good dribble, he might not be able to get past anyone. The man's never stronger than 54k at dribbling.、Um, for example, Roberto Carlos is a little bit weaker normally, but if you put him with Nacho Reza, it's 60,000 dribble. Obviously, not an attacking midfield position, but that's the kind of limitation on、uh, Roberto Carlos, for instance. So it's kind of hard to decide exactly how good this player is. I think I rate him a B. He's really, really, really narrowly focused, but he does bring plenty. Like, he's so good at his narrow focus that he is usable, but he's more like fringe usable.、Um, on a bad day, I think it would be C. I think he's only B、uh, met to his potential,、uh, which means that for the most vast majority of players, he's not going to be a very useful player.、Uh, he's probably going to be worth it in like a challenge road or something in particular, like maybe the Mueller.、Um, Like the upcoming Mueller event or whatever,、uh, so that people can、uh, get the hidden ability tokens for Mueller, for the Mueller that's、uh, the blue World Cup Mueller. I think if you're trying to get those tokens and you're trying to level up and hidden ability evolve that Mueller,、uh, this Larson's probably going to be very, very useful for that because that's the kind of thing Caleb does. So、uh, he is an attacking midfielder, he's just a utility player. I rate him a B, I generously rate him a B. He's not great, but he's not bad, he's like decent. I wouldn't go for broke for him though, unless you urgently needed that team skill. So, stats stamina 897. I know it doesn't seem like much, but because everything's 40% cheaper, if it's a special skill, it doesn't matter. Everything's like in the 4000s except dribble at 8.2k and speed at 9.3. That does mean he has 12.8k dribble and 8.9k tackle, and everything else is under 7000, which is pretty depressing, it is what it is.、Uh, for a skill build,、uh, he comes with S, the world's foremost legs, which is a 420 cap dribble, which is not great. I would just teach him the A high speed dribble,、uh, keep the A high speed tackle, and teach him C high speed dribble, which is coming in a raid soon.、Uh, pull his interception off for someone else who can use it. Yeah, you're not going to see any success with it unless you're using it against really bad players. You can keep it there if you just want, you know, you want to encourage mental gymnastics from the opponent who thinks you might throw an intercept for some reason because it'd be the weird thing to do.、Uh, 
uh, but it's never going to succeed, so I don't know why you do that. Uh, use the right dribble for the occasion. If you can go cheaper, go cheaper. Everything will be very cheap already anyway, but you want to maximize his low stamina. And that's pretty much it. There's not much else to say about this Larson except that his goal and his play pattern is run at defenders, try to disable them, pass the ball back. It's the same idea as 1-2s except that instead of getting like a dribble range enhance, he is instead a very, very, very inexpensive dribbler. And he does that because his, the goal is uh, volume. You're going to run at every single player you can to try to dribble them to get them to uh, get disabled. And you're probably going to beat a bunch of tackles with his dribbles so long as you have your dribble highly leveled up. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. Um, thanks for coming out and watching this video. Uh, I want to shout out my Patreon subscribers. As you guys can see, there is now a Patreon thank you uh, pane here. So if you want to wind up here, then you can join the Patreon. There's a link right there in the description of the video and also here on this uh, slide of the video. Uh, if you like what you see, remember to click like and subscribe over at the bottom. Uh, uh, if you click uh, subscribe and you want to make sure that uh, you catch any update that I make, as soon as I make it, click on the little bell icon. That'll send you a notification anytime that I upload new content. Uh, also, if you want to monetarily support the channel, again, Patreon is a good way to do it. You can also just send a little tip in the Streamlabs link down below. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the last stream, the last stream was pretty good. Uh, we did some challenge road, we talked some stuff, and uh, we pulled for a dream collection and caught, and he came out. So thanks a lot to everybody who donated to that, it's particularly Ader, who kind of covered the end of that, and Quasar, who also is listed here in uh, the goldfish uh, category, um, who definitely helped out. So thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for everything, and check out the updated uh, videos that are coming for uh, Mueller and the new Schneider, who will be coming probably tomorrow. I'll be trying to make a video as soon as I can for them. Thanks a lot for checking this out, and I hope to see you all soon.